Uh, Mr. TCS and I, you're on. <laughs> Ow. Uh, sir, are you okay? Uh, you took quite the fall there. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm okay. Uh, so, what are we doing? Uh, it says here that you're doing a, a short rail fan video. Don't know what that means, but, uh, it says that you're on. Oh, okay, well, uh, thank you so much. I'll, uh, I'll get on then. Yeah, no problem. Happy to help. Alrighty guys, I'm so sorry that you had to hear all that, but, uh, I have some news today. Uh, this is gonna be a short railfan video. Hooray! Now, normally, I don't do very short railfan videos, unlike how Tyler does his railfan videos, whether if they're very long or if they're very short. Also, thank you, man. Um, so, uh, why don't we, uh, go check out some of the trains that I have caught, uh, over, uh, this weekend and last weekend. I didn't get a lot, though. But, uh, let's try to bear with this, alright? So, let's go see them trains that I caught. Okay, so, for this first train on this short railfan video, we are going to be seeing CNA421. Going from Toronto to Port Robinson. This train is led by 3811 and ES44AC. Now, uh, Tyler, I'm not too sure if you gave me a shout or anything for this, but I caught an unexpected AC44C6M being 3307. This unit was trailing second, though, unfortunately. It would be cool if I saw it leading, but, uh, yet, uh, this was an unexpected, uh, train that I caught. And, uh, Tyler, it would have been better if you gave me a shout about this AC44C6M. But either way, you're, you're still good. I'm not mad. Last and finally, the DPU. The DPU on this 421 is 2918 and ES44 DC. Now, to be honest, guys, I can't really count axles and stuff like that because my scanner is not really the greatest when it comes to counting uh, axles, but it can read a radio communication where the train is at, but it doesn't read mileposts and doesn't count the axles. I'm so sorry about this, guys. But hopefully some point uh, later throughout the year, I can get a United Scanner so I can get better quality in these videos. Alright, now we're going to roll on with these videos. Eee! I'll try. Oh, and I forgot to mention, later through the train, you're going to be seeing an old Canadian Pacific Railway auto rack that was uh, from uh, the early 1990s that I recall from. It's uh, painted black with the old CP Rail logo from one of the older model SD40-2s. Don't worry, you'll see it later through the video.
reason. I'm gonna see if I gotta go. About a week later, because of school, me and Landon took a trip to Glendale Avenue where we caught the outbound GO train going from Niagara Falls back to Toronto. This train is led by 649, an EMD MP36 3C. And trailing at the end is Old Cab Car 252. This train has a total of 12 passenger cars, and I got away from the engineer. Now, let's roll on with the clip. Eep. Hey guys, it's uh, Aries O'Neill TCSNR here. Um, thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, be sure to give the video a big fat thumbs up if you have uh, enjoyed the video. And uh, I'm going to give out all the, the credit scores to the people who have helped me out and joined me for today's video. So first is Tyler M. For uh, helping me with the information on uh, where, like the location of where trains are on the subdivisions and uh, now and then. And, uh, second credit score goes to the Central CN Railfan. The Central CN Railfan has, uh, joined me in a lot of videos so far. Um, especially this one. And, uh, he's a really great friend. And, uh, 
Uh, hopefully we can go to uh, Milton um, on Friday. That's if we do go. But uh, all those credit scores go to you guys. And uh, the link's in the description to you guys' channel. And uh, I will see you all in the next Ralph Man video. TSC Sinar, signing off. <laughs>